Another whole face, false fingernails, and all of that, and then they'll say, but I'm looking for a real man. down without thinking that it devalues her. She doesn't have to use her body because she has so many other good attributes about herself to get the attention of a man. We can take the sisters, the sisters in a position to take all of the charge uh, and sexual energy out of the black community by just dressing differently. We have the power and control over that. That don't stop you from being beautiful. That don't stop you from getting a man. And it certainly puts things on the right perspective so some other judgments can be made other than physical. Don't take no knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to have a sexual reaction. That's the most base. We spend less time doing that than anything else we do. going on youtube how y'all doing welcome back it's your boy jay larone with jay larone presents where we talk about the facts foolishness and black female effery today's video man we got a little bit more of that you know what i'm saying so i did a video earlier about you know black women dry begging this woman was in a restaurant and she was looking at some dude trying to stir him down so he could come over and pay for her meal so in this video man it's still the same thing you know women still out here dry begging being broke you know try to call us men dusty but you know they they they, they broke they are broke um i pulled up this video man from the average man unplugged shout out to him this is about a woman who has a list right she's going viral for some list that she put out about uh what men have to do to to i guess the men gotta pay for their maintenance right a woman's maintenance and men need to be able to pay for that you know what i'm saying so <laughs> let's go ahead and go through this real quick man and, and yeah this is some ds2 as well all right if you guys haven't go ahead like subscribe share all right and um yeah let's go ahead and get into this fair use fair use nail slash tone 75 to 130 dollars hair 80 to 400 facials 60 to 150 brows 12 to 30 lashes 80 to 120 that 100 you trying to send is not enough sir wow we do not care okay yeah so i mean as you see yeah you need 60 dollars for wax this is, this is what these women want they want you to pay for their wax 60 dollars the nails and, and toes anywhere from 75 to 130 the hair anywhere from 80 to 400 the facials anywhere from 60 dollars to 150 um eyebrows anywhere from 12 dollars to 30 
the lashes anywhere from eighty dollars to a hundred and twenty dollars yeah you got that right and like 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 the caption said at the at the bottom you know that one hundred dollars you're trying to send me is not enough you mean to tell me in order for me to date you i gotta i gotta pay for your maintenance my job as as a man is not to is not to pay for your maintenance i don't care who i don't know who told y'all that we are not here to pay for your upkeep and majority of y'all women ain't paying this much anyway hair 80 to 400 dollars for your hair that's your that's your wig knowing good and well a lot of y'all women out here we can look at majority of y'all and tell that you got a lace front a bad one at that so you ain't paying this much you ain't paying 80. i mean if you're paying 400 dollars and we can tell that you wearing a, a lace front sorry you, you getting yeah you getting ripped off you are definitely getting ripped off you know what i'm saying I mean, it doesn't matter. And, and just, just, just check this out, right? Even on the low end, <laughs> even on the low end, and the low end, if we add up all the the, the low end, it's three hundred sixty-seven dollars, right? On the high end, you're looking at eight hundred and ninety. So, if I date you, I got at least come off of, you know, damn near four hundred dollars on the low end, damn near nine hundred on the high end to help you with your upkeep now how many guys fellas put in the comments how many women y'all know spend this much money on themselves if you got the money to 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 spend like that on your own upkeep why does a man you're dating have to spend that that's what i want to know if you value your man and respect your man why does he have to pay that much money for your upkeep you see what I mean? You see the foolery? You see the effery? That lets you know that they can't afford this shit. They just want you to give them the money. And they're going to go and probably get some shit that's, that costs way less than what they're putting on this paper. You know what I mean? It's like they're they're telling you, hey, I need this much. They're, they're, they're inflating these prices. Knowing good and well, they ain't going to pay for that. They don't pay for that. But they're going to tell you that they pay for it. So if, I'm, so if you wind up giving that woman $900 to keep her up on the high end she ain't gonna spend all that on herself she gonna pocket more than half of that and probably spend the bare minimum to get her shit done you know what i'm saying she gonna come back and you gonna look at her and be like i gave you 900 dollars for that you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's some bullshit it's straight bs these women are out here trying to sucker you guys man this is crazy this is some bullshit I always hollering they 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 phds and they, they making this much money but yet they they trying to suck up brother oh they got a job word in the motherland is uh you ain't got no job <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna keep it moving i got another video here man of this um dude who gave his woman um a hundred dollars right well he he cashed after a hundred but he made a mistake and added another zero and wind up giving her a thousand but when he asked for the 900 back so she can keep the hundred you know of course we all know she didn't want to do that so let's go ahead i'm going to you know um cue up this video for you real quick. open the door you don't see me calling you i called you like 50 times what you mean for what for the money all right so i'm messing with this little broad i eat for about six seven months or whatever we, we've been cool or whatever, you know, everything been straight. She asked me for a hundred dollars this morning for a phone bill. So I'm like, cool, you know what I'm saying? No big deal. I sent her a hundred, but I f***ed around and made a mistake and hit one extra zero, sent her a thousand dollars. And I'm asking her to send me the cash app and send me the money back on cash app. That's why I sent it to her. She talking about no, she ain't sending no extra money back. Like I sent it to her like, what? I mean, I sent it to you. I know I sent it by mistake. You asked for a hundred. I sent you the hundred dollars. And look, I can show you right here. Look, I sent her a thousand dollars, bro. A thousand dollars. And I'm just asking for my nine hundred dollars back. Like, man, what the f kind of person gonna f take money like that? Trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm trying to call. Instead of trying to call her, she not answering the phone, man. She not she not answering no text messages no more. So I'm about to straight up pull up, man. How many times you called her? Man, I called her like, bro, look, bro. 
I had to call her like 50 times type shit, man. Like, <laughs> Damn, he called her 50 times. She done got that thousand dollars and thinks she done came up. Get the fuck out of here. Your old brother driving a Lexus too. Hey, man, look at this, bro. 48 times I called this bro, man, right here. I called her two more times. I fit it right there. I've been calling her because she not answering no phone, brother. She got me fed up, man. I need my money, dog. I'm supposed to pay my bills. Like you try to help somebody. Man, that shit. Oh, brother. Yeah, go ahead and charge that to the game player. You ain't getting that 900 back. It's a you're right it's a wrap yeah he ain't getting that 900 back shout out to the uh average man unplugged man that brother be over there cooking i think he, I think he's at fifty thousand subscribers by now if you guys have not man go over there and give him a, a subscribe as well but yeah these women are out here tripping they tripping you know they they, they these women broke man and you know what i'm saying they, and i know a lot of women will see this and say well why he crying over a thousand it 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 ain't that it's the principle right you asked for a hundred i made a mistake gave you a thousand i'm not gonna just say oh oh yeah go ahead and keep it hell no i'm gonna give you what you asked me for you know what i'm saying hit me back my nine i mean it's in it's integrity right you know what i'm saying you asked for a hundred i gave you a hundred made a mistake added another zero i just want you to you know to be a a, a decent human being and give me back you know the 900 you know what I'm saying? And more than likely, if you know, some guys, even if they do make that mistake and they contact you to give you to give them back the 900 and you say, OK, no problem. I, I'll cash you back, cash up you back. A lot of times they'll be like, you know, they might tell you to keep an extra 50 or 100. You know, you never know. Just be nice about it. Just get what you're supposed to get. If the brother made a mistake and sent you a thousand when you asked for 100, give that man back his 900 dollars. I mean, y'all supposed to be dating. You know what I'm saying? Now that let that brother know right there that you ain't shit. You just you just money hungry. Oh girl, I asked for a hundred. He sent me a thousand. He, he ain't getting this back. And you know that's what she's saying to her homegirls. He ain't getting this grand back. She is. I hit a lick. I hit a lick. Then she gonna go run off and, and blow that money, and she gonna be broke in about a couple of days or, or a day. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna take her long to spend all this shit. But yeah, it's like um average man said. Eric's man unplugged said, he, you know, you can charge that up to the game, brother. You ain't, yeah, you ain't getting that money back. That's just, you need to write her off. Go ahead and block her number and just, you know, fuck it. Just go ahead and do what you got to do. Get you another one. <laughs> but yeah, man, like I said, these women swear up and down that they are fucking rolling their money, but that lets you know right there that this chick is broke. Party of one. Sad chick, party of one. Ebony the attorney, party of one. Marsha the marketer, party of one. Nancy the nurse, party of one. Or the PhD or the doctor. Hey, Rita the realtor, party of one. Christine the creative, party of one. Erica the entrepreneur, party of one. Party of one. And one thing you're going to recognize is all these party of one women share one thing in common. They share one thing in common for sure. One of the one you've heard of the seven deadly sins. I'm going to start talking about the seven deadly sins for the seven deadly curses for modern women. And one of them is a lack of humility. Yep, exactly, man. Like I said, you, you can't trust them. You make a mistake and ask them for, for the money back. Just keep what I keep what I meant to give you, but no, they can't even do that. No integrity, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Thinking they all that, thinking that they oh well, he, he his his fault, his fault. He should have watched what he was doing. I tell y'all, motherfuckers ain't shit, boy. I tell you, but like I said, you can't you can't tell y'all nothing. But in the end, like I said, one of these days it's gonna come a time where y'all women gonna be wondering where all the men at. You wonder why all these men are going overseas. <laughs> All this stuff y'all doing, man. Y'all can the the passport bros don't need to come up with a commercial. All they gotta do is clip all the shit that y'all women be doing and make up their own advertisement. <laughs> y'all are making it so easy for these dudes to go overseas, and I don't blame them. Damn, stupid. But yeah, in the end, you know, like I said, y'all gonna be looking for men to come help, come protect. You know, when y'all down and out. But this is what y'all gonna get. I'm here to tell you right now. 
We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. You guys, please go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, share. All right. Please be good to yourself. By all means, let's be good to one another. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life because I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm going to stay there till I feel like I'm winning. Oh, and this is just the beginning. I need a big change, help me feel like living. I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all. And we all got dreams. We all want things. But what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? And do you believe you can do anything? But what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? This is my game to play, to claim a brand new name, oh And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that, my miss, gotta find what I'm good at I guess I'll look here, look there, over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life, whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right in the summer on a goose and Sprite Or we'll find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe We can do anything But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be?